Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today I am going to talk about my September poetry quote favorites. Let's be truthful, it's all quotes this month. There's no poetry at all. Firstly, I'm going to start off with this because it is easily my favorite quote of the month. Probably my favorite quote from the TV show. I love True Blood. I've gotten into it. I have watched all through the sixth season. By the time this is up, I'm sure I'll be through the sixth season. So yeah, I love me some True Blood and Eric is kind of my favorite character so far. I love his character development throughout it. But, so I'm going to go ahead and say this exchange thing. It's between Eric and Sookie. And Sookie says, Godric is your maker, isn't he? Don't use words you don't understand. You have a lot of love for him. Don't use words I don't understand. Ugh, love that so much. And this next thing is from a song from the Airborne Toxic event, and it goes, And the piano's this melancholy soundtrack to her smile. Their lyrics. I talk about a couple of their lyrics in my uh, September Random Favorites, so be sure to watch that. And one more True Blood quote. Uh, this one's from Terry, and this one's quite funny. I found a baby armadillo by the side of the road and nursed it, and now it sleeps under my bed, and its name is Felix. Anytime Felix is brought up, I hysterically laugh. If I see armadillos, I just, I think of Felix. Next, my one little bit of poetry. This is from uh, Ian S. Thomas, I wrote this for you. And every day the world will drag you by the hand yelling, this is important, and this is important, and this is important, and you need to worry about this and this and this. And each day it's up to you to yank your hand back and put it to your heart and say no. This is what's important. I, got, I love that book so much. I really need to film a review on it. And I have one more for you. People don't like love. They like that flittery, flirty feeling. They don't love love. Love is sacrificial. Love is ferocious. It's not emotive. Our culture doesn't love love. It loves the idea of love. It wants the emotion without paying anything for it. It's ridiculous. I totally realize how short this video is. I just wanted to say thank you for those of you who do watch this and do like these videos and are all nice and whatnot about it because I know not everyone likes these so I don't know. Just thank you guys for, for yeah. <laughs> if you have any uh, like short books to, for me to read, to me for read, uh, backwards English. Because um, I am a student, I'm taking difficult classes this semester and uh, I don't have a lot of free time so I'm currently reading the first in the Suki Sackhouse series, which I think is Dead Until Dark. Yeah, Dead Until Dark. And so I'm looking for shorter books and whatnot, but I kind of update you on what I'm reading in my random favorites and whatnot. And if you want to stay more up to date on what I'm reading, I also have a Goodreads, which is links down there in the description along with pretty much every other social media. Pretty much. Uh, if you just want to like follow and see what I'm reading there because I usually post quotes and whatnot and I try not to spoil so don't have to worry about that. So just thank you guys for watching and everything and I will see you guys later next time before this talk. Bye. Thank you for the for you guys to watch who. <laughs> oh, uh, yep, I feel like my brains are scrambled eggs.